Hello Taurus and welcome to your Cancer season tarot reading. This message may apply if you have Taurus as your sun, moon, rising, or Venus signs. So <clears throat> with that being said, let's begin. What is in store for Tauruses this Cancer season? What is the energy? What should you be focusing on? What advice might you need? Um, just what's What's going on for my Torians? Hmm. Hmm. Nice. First card, we have the Ten of Pentacles. It's really awesome. Yeah, so ten is like the highest number there is. Um, it's very like you, you built your empire. Um, and with Pentacles being Earth energy, um, could just be like, I don't know, whatever you wanted um, stability in, a home or your finances. Um, I think you're finding that you are, your dreams are, are becoming a reality in terms of like finances and stuff, um, which is awesome because you guys are, as an earth sign, very um, sensual in that like the things that the five senses can um, perceive is what brings you great pleasure and joy in life. Okay, we also have the Knight of Pentacles. Um, so there could be a new avenue of um, making more money um, coming your way. So that's that's awesome. If if you've been like looking into investing or, or just starting a new venture, like this is really. Hmm fruitful time um and working out for you okay now this is where it gets tricky and strange because we have uh, the eight of swords right see her she's kind of all tied up um and we have seven of swords in reverse so there is a person or a situation in your life. Um, the Eight of Swords, it kind of shows um, mental imprisonment, um, and you could be making some um, circumstance worse than it is um, in your mind, or you could just feel um, trapped, like you and this other person do not know how to effectively communicate. You'll be saying one thing and they're hearing another and then they're just trying to say something and you're hearing not what they're saying and you're just like not able to meet at each other's level and that's causing a lot of um just oh it's it's frustrating it's upsetting um that you're not able to see eye to eye and understand one another um and okay also with the seven of swords um this card upright is like all about deceit or um some sort of like trickery or some lie or just something shady there's something shady going on um in reverse though could it be you could you be mm, okay I, I, I was going to ask if you could be, like, deceiving others to get to the top in your job and your finances, um, because that's, like, a lot of people who, um, are bosses or, you know, like, rich, you kind of have to step on other people to get what you want, um, but we have the Eight of Pentacles, so it shows that you're putting in the work, um, and I think, like, your, your abundance and your material abundance, like, is the result of your hard work, um, and you actually taking the time, effort, energy, um, to hone your crafts and your skills and, and learn and do the work, um, so I don't, I want to know more about the, the Eight of Swords and Seven of Swords reverse thing, because that's, that's strange, like, most of the reading is like, okay, yeah, like, your money... You're working hard and you're getting things, so that's good. Uh, also, Wheel of Fortune. Um, 
So this is very good. Good luck. Good. Oh God, you're coming into so much money. I'm. That's. I'm kind of envious. So good for you guys. Um, I want to ask more about the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords in reverse. At the bottom of the deck, we have Strength, which is um, Leo energy, another fixed sign. Um, I feel like you guys are really in your power right now. You're feeling really good about yourselves um, and just confident, and there's like a spring in your step. Um, and I... I don't think this is like a, a problem for you guys right now, but I'm gonna say like don't attach your self-worth um, to how much money you make or what clothes you wear or how many nice things you have. Like I'm happy for you guys that you're getting what you want, but um, don't make that be the sole reason of your happiness. Um, but it's good to have pride. It's good to be proud of how far you've come. Um, yeah, I wanna know more about the Eight of Swords and the Seven of Swords. Because besides those two cards, I feel like this reading is very straightforward. Um, it's rare that it's like, that straightforward. It's like, oh yeah, your money's good. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if, um, it, it doesn't feel like you're like looking for a job. It feels like you're just so stable right now. Um, as a fixed sign, we love stability. Okay, the devil. The devil has clarification for the eight of swords and the seven of swords in reverse. Tell me more, because the devil, Capricorn energy, another earth sign. Um, the devil is all about, um... <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, so, ah, the devil and the emperor, clarification, um, Capricorn, Aries, both cardinal signs, um, and I feel like with the knight of pentacles, it's like very direct, cardinal, like, we're moving in a direction, we're headed somewhere, um, and so you could be dealing with, um, a Capricorn or an Aries or someone with those placements, Something's not what it seems. And look at these two figures, right? Like, the emperor could be scary, but it's like someone respected. And then the devil, it's like just this um, unhealthy attachment. Or like I was kind of warning before with, um, like, don't don't make your, your whole pride, um, like how much money you can make or what you have. Um, I think there's something, hmm, someone here could be jealous of your success and the attention that you're getting from all the success, um, and they might be, like, spreading rumors about you behind your back, um, or just kind of trying to discredit you, um, and that could be a source of frustration. Don't let anyone gaslight you. Um, don't let anyone take away from the hard work that you put in. Um, and I think just be careful with who you share your success with. And I hate that I have to say that. I think like we should be able to, and strength is at the bottom of the deck for a reason. Like I think definitely if you want to share your success and you want to post on social media, like or you want to just dress nice, you want to pop off, like, go for it. You shouldn't have to hide um, or be modest. But I wouldn't trust everyone in your inner circle right now because there could be people who, maybe the people you work with, it seems like they're rooting for you, but they, they want to, like, take from you, whether that's your success or credit or, like, your your secrets to... Oh wow! Like, how how do they how do they get the recognition from doing it a certain way? Like, I kind of want to like learn that. Um, so yeah, this deceitful energy. Be wary of that, but I wouldn't worry too much because um, you're just successful and abundant this cancer season. Um, 
keep putting in the work and like don't just work 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 but enjoy enjoy your money enjoy your life enjoy things that you do um and you don't have to be modest don't be like obnoxious obnoxiously bragging but um I don't think you were gonna do that anyway I think just there's a lot of um good fortune for you guys this season so that's really fucking awesome um so yeah I hope this resonated um leave a comment down below if it did like subscribe all that good stuff and yeah love you guys thank you for watching Mwah.